Just to add is uh, originally we had thought about uh, wanting to add the snow melt system along the north, right. but that's going to be phase two because it's so disruptive of parking and we want to make sure how the existing snow melt system that we're adding in the front works. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also relatively new sidewalk mm -hmm. over there. It's in pretty good shape, so it makes sense to maybe just wait on that. Um, yeah. Okay. And I maybe feel that way about the movable tables. I don't know. We'll see. Because <laughs> we've agreed on the money, so just. Mm -hmm. So um, what, what we have before us okay. this evening is a revision to the, uh, to the design. Um, what we're looking for is um, an approval of this design so that mm -hmm. we can then take action um, to give direction to our construction manager and our architect to work collaboratively to put together the bid package so right that we can advertise I'll, I'll this. I'll motion to approve, make the motion to approve. That I second so. it. Okay. And I, I think we all in favor. Right, we'll, we'll find out. That's right. <laughs> well, it's, it's in, we, we're not actually That's voting on money. Yet. We're not we're voting on yeah. money. It's just the design. Yeah. There's we are, money we, to We follow. voted on the money yesterday, last week, month. We voted on the money to fund it. I think it's yeah. still safer to do it as a board. Okay. okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Trustee George. Yes. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Yes. Trustee Barshes. Yes. Trustee Lawson, yes. I didn't. I didn't forget you. <laughs> Trustee, <laughs> Trustee Wolf says I as well. So, yeah. <laughs> Trustee Wolf. Okay. What follows is the construction manager con uh, yeah. track. No, so, the post outdoor. Yeah. All right. So, so actually, the the next action would be to give direction to the library to take these drawings and work mm -hmm. collaboratively with. Tesca and Shales McNutt to put together the bid package and then advertise that. So you need a motion for that as well? Okay. So I motion we approve that. Okay. Okay. Roll call again. I second it. Okay. <laughs> Trustee George? Aye. Trustee Rogers? Yes. Trustee McDonald? Aye. Trustee Barshes? Yes. Trustee McLaughlin? Yes. And Trustee Wolf? Yeah. Says yes. <laughs> one one item just to point out with respect to the contract. This the this follows a mandated format for these types of services. There is some follow up that we're going to need to do as the bids are um, resolved, and you know there's additional information uh, that we'll need to to monitor. Um, our approval last month uh, allocated $100,000 to these services, um, and the numbers that will determine what the actual cost of these services won't be available to us until the bids are opened and we've made those decisions. So there could be some adjustment in the contract we approved last month if it turns out that it will take a little longer and therefore the management fees would continue um, longer than what the current allocation might cover. That's not going to be known until March when we have the bids mm -hmm. and we are making those decisions. Um, so there is some, some follow-up that may be required with this type of a contract because you never really know for certain what your actual costs are going to be, and until you until you award the contracts, and those contract totals may cause some shift in what the management fee needs to be in order to cover the cost of the project. So that's just an obligation that you know we have under this type of contract. Um, by intro by again by point of introduction um, the contract that's before you this evening and the uh, writer attachment um, have been reviewed by the library's attorney um, we've um, collaborated with Shales McNutt on this as well um, we feel that what, what's before you this evening is going to serve the, the library well through the outdoor renovation project okay. if you've got any questions I'm happy to take them uh, just a comment that on the document here that I'm looking at it says 2019 landscaping Shouldn't we change that to outdoor renovation? We can do that. Yeah, yeah that's a good idea. As well as change the uh, view and update the dates, too. Yes. Yeah, right. And I didn't know 
if you wanted any comments on this now, or I could do that later another time on the wording. Okay, that, yeah, that, if um, Jan has just pointed out that there was an, um, an attachment that we didn't discuss for the, the last item, um, as part of the uh, materials um, with the, the new drawing, there was also drafts of the um, interpretive signage. There's right. four examples of signage that are there. Right. Um, the signage would be part of the bid package. Um, there's there's still time for us to evaluate what the content of that signage would be. Okay. Um, this is those were four examples of the things that we had discussed in committee that we would want to include. Mm -hmm. um, there was also some discussion more recently in committee about putting uh, botanical um, signs by some of the plantings. Uh, yeah, that would, that would be in the butterfly garden, and mm -hmm. I think that was something that we were agreeing that we wanted to go forward with yeah. as well. I have a question though, wouldn't we want to? Do the signage through the people that we've already been using to do our signage, um, so there's a consistency in the design, um, as opposed to having it go to another party, another vendor, because we've just gone through, redone um, pretty much all the signing in the building, and I think it would be good if it's consistent with um, stylistically with the rest of the signing. Because um, I just I'm not really sure that throwing this this part. It's a little apples and oranges into the um, this project. I mean, I agree that I think we should do it. I definitely want to do it. I don't. It's not that I don't want to do it, um, but I'm not sure that it should be part of the bid package. I think we should go to is it Pablaki who's been doing our signage and maybe uh, see what they could do um, that would be consistent with everything else we've done. Okay. Then we, we can save my comments for that. Yeah, too. I think, and I also think it's, I think we, <laughs> Jan, I think we might want to have a little more time to just refine the language and all that, too. Um, and it's we, very busy. These are actually really right. a lot of information. These, these didn't start out this way, if you remember. We had yeah. a chance to go at them. Before, right, but yeah. there's always another chance. Okay, so <laughs> part two in committee. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Any questions about the contract with Shales McNutt for construction management? Not really. I motion approval of the agreement. I second it. Roll call. Yes. I would think so. Yes. Yes. Trustee George. Aye. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee Garces. Yes. Trustee O'Loughlin. Yes. And Trustee Wolf. Yes. So given that the bid package is gone, do you want to do a brief update as to what that timetable is looking like? Right. So yeah. um, in talking with Shales McNutt, one of the things that we were looking at with this project, because we are kind of tight with time as we discussed at the December meeting, um, there was some discussion about potentially rescheduling the date of the February board meeting and moving it back a week, kind of like what we did here in an effort to accomplish um, some of the tasky details um, on the mm -hmm. project. Um, the team at Shales McNutt kind of feels that right now we need a little bit more time to evaluate the bids once we receive them. Um, mm -hmm. The time that we're looking to post um, is to allow 30 days for the posting, and that would have a bid opening around February 20th. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That doesn't give Shales McNutt enough time to do the due diligence to make their recommendations okay. for the subcontractors to recommend for award. Um, so what we're thinking is hold your usual meeting date in February as it is currently scheduled. Um, we'll not defer it from February 19th. We'll hold the meeting on that date, mm -hmm. and we will likely need to then hold a special meeting um, in early March to approve um, the recommendation to bid. It would likely be a brief meeting. We would be able to provide you a lot of information in advance of that and prepare a packet with those recommendations. Mm -hmm. We can bring Shales in to do um, an introduction and kind of go through what, what their um, analysis of those bids would be. Um, we're tentatively looking at a date like Tuesday, March 5th. Um, if that works, kind of an evening meeting like what we have here, um, we can discuss that as we get closer to the date. Um, but we were tentatively at the time of drawing up this um, agenda thinking that we might move to recommend um, changing that date, but at this time we're not. So okay. keep your February date, but likely need a special meeting. Mm -hmm. And does it have to be an evening meeting? Could it be a daytime meeting? It or? doesn't have okay. to be, yeah. And then um, then our regular meeting is, I think it's 319. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. For 320? Mm -hmm. uh, the regular meeting would be March 19th. 219. No, but for March. For March. Oh, yeah. for March. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> But if we were to wait, and if we were yeah. to wait two more weeks, yeah, no, we can we go ahead. Two weeks so that's a project. special. <coughs> okay. okay. Thank you. Sounds good. Any more questions regarding timing? 
Behind uh, index number eight is a memorandum of understanding. A new book drop will be added at the mm -hmm. CTA Linden Station. And so thanks to uh, one of the citizens and uh, patrons, Richard Sobel, as well as uh, Dan Johnson for pushing that forward. Trustee Johnson? Trustee, yes. <laughs> for uh, getting behind that and adding a book drop and additional mm -hmm. book drops are being looked at but right now you've got the memorandum of understanding the only thing about the memorandum of understanding where there was no give was point number nine where cta will have the right to relocate the book return box at cta's sole discretion at any time and for any reason if possible they will notify of relocation in advance within 24 hours of relocation. So there really wasn't much room to squibble, so I would wreck. <laughs> and where will it be? I'm just curious, will it be inside, outside? Outside. Um, it's outside. outside. It's outside. But it, there's kind of the overhang, so it should be right. out of the weather. If Is you're it familiar with that entrance, the village has a box there as well. The library's box would be adjacent right to next. the village's. Okay, okay, great. Right, and that's protected, so that's good. Mm -hmm. It's right on the street to get the books. So. Nice. Do we need a motion? A uh, motion so, to approve that we do this. Memorandum of understanding. I second it. Mm -hmm. You need a roll call. Roll call. All in favor. Trustee George. Call. I don't know. But There's you, no money. There's in no, this. Money. There's no, There's no money. money in the other. There thing will be money <laughs> in this later. Okay. So. Because we do so. have to cover the costs of, of installation the and of the book drop. The yeah. Right. And when I wonder when will, when will we order that? So with with your motion here this evening, we will be able to go forward go forward with um, evaluating the book drop. We've got a okay. couple options that we're looking at. Mm -hmm. um, we're also looking at the same time as replacing the book drop at the recreation center. Oh, um, that one was struck by a vehicle um, a couple mm -hmm. years ago, and it's got a big dent in it. Oh. Um, it also bears branding that's um, a couple iterations older. It gives us an opportunity to apply the same. Um, rebranding and wrap on right. that drop as the ones that we're going to drop at CTA. That makes so, sense. So a little bit of planning that we want to do to get out in front of this one. Um, and okay. related to that, we're going to do um, some promotion about this, uh, whether it's um, a formal ribbon cutting or not. Um, we'd mm -hmm. like to get it in the newsletter. We'd like to do a bit of advertising and celebration mm -hmm. about the new drop. So um, this will give us some time to coordinate. So likely sometime in the spring. And the other thing, look, you're looking into is some type of sheath so that you could put posters or notices about events happening at the library. Oh, that's a great Since idea. you get a lot yeah, of people nice. going through, mm -hmm. that'd be some yeah. good traffic good to promote some of the yep. programs of the library. That's a good idea. Does that have to be run through the CTA? I mean, Not if we like just put it inside our little Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Box. It's yeah. just going to be on the box, and it's yeah. talking about the library. So it's not like it's right. taking any of their yeah, revenue that they might use to. It's a problem at the Northwestern Station because of it. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> All in. Do we need a voice vote? I, have a voice I vote. think the voice vote for this one is yeah. sufficient. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Opposed? No. Okay. Okay. One of the things and behind number nine is a discussion about the bylaws and policy update. Mm -hmm. And we had talked about procedures for public meetings and hearings. And so Anthony has taken a first crack at it. And we had also had some committee comments. The communications committee had co commented about the uh, public comment policy. So basically what's been changed is in section four on the second page, uh, we've added, a, uh, increased the time to five minutes. Some of the other questions that the uh, board raised uh, would go under the procedure manual, and that was in terms of patrons will submit comments and questions, so the response time from the um, board chair to uh, comments that will go into the procedure section because I think Jan, that was one of the things you wanted to be added to be put back in there but that will fall under this it won't go away but it'll fall on another section because there's three parts we're looking at the bylaws policy and procedures mm -hmm. so the policies and procedures are combined in the bylaws and so we can you can take this and look at it, and we can discuss it at the next meeting. Mm -hmm. 
and then there are the bylaws. And so do you want to talk, and what the bylaws, uh, what we're done with the bylaws is one, to bring them up to code for Illinois code. Mm -hmm. Second, to reflect some of the, uh, some of the uh, sections or policies that we had already agreed on in, but had not been updated. And you've got a far more detailed list of in terms of what the officer's duties are. Mm -hmm. And he put a little bit more order to it. And do you want to talk a little bit more about it? Yeah, well, essentially what we've done is we've taken the existing bylaws and we've given it more of an outline structure. Um, we've added a little bit more articulation. Mm -hmm. um, the bylaws here reflect kind of an update of, of what you would see that would kind of reflect the formality of this organization. Um, the content of it is really and truly when we worked closely with um, Roger Ritzman, our attorney on this, was to incorporate elements from the state statutes that are the requirements of the board mm -hmm. um, right into our documents. So there's not a lot of reference um, outside of the document. Um, we would just incorporate more. So it's true the, the length of this document has, has doubled. Um, the content of it is largely informed by what